Okay, so this tutorial is going to teach you how to um, access pictures and videos from the Pampered Chef website. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Okay, so you're going to log on to your Pampered Chef webpage. When you log on to your main page, you are going to go down to where it says full site. When you go to the full site, now, before you are able to pick up any images or videos from the Pampered Chef website, you need to go through Pampered Chef University. There are two trainings. The first training is on in-home parties, and then there's one on virtual parties. When you do these trainings, they will allow you more access to party packs, um, pre um, set up basically organized layouts and um, outlines for your virtual parties. So you'll get a whole lot more access, but you must go through all that training first. Once you are able to access all this, you're going to go into where it says training and resources. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says marketing imagery. Now, in order to um, add pictures to your virtual parties, this is just one place to get pictures. You could obviously go on to um, like Pinterest if you wanted to. You could Google pictures from Pampered Chef. You could create your own images on a pic collage app or Canva. This is just ways that you could get actual company images that were designed for us um, from the company that are very sharp and then that also give us videos and things like that. So when you go into this area under the training and resources, you'll see an area called marketing imagery. It will come up with all the different promotions. So this is where you can locate, again, your host and guest special, if you have a new consultant joining, what how the benefits are, um, things like that. There's also different flyers for seasonal things that are going on. Social are going to be images that you could use for your virtual parties, your regular Facebook page to send to people. Videos is obviously videos. Party themes, so these are the ones that you need to go through training materials on. So you're going to go through the in-person experience and the virtual, and then this will unlock more for you. And then there are posters and logos and things like that. So what I'm gonna focus on right now is more so the social aspect and the videos. So you're gonna click on the word more, and when you go into this, this is going to break up into various categories, and you can click on whichever one you want to access more images. So this is just a way for you to get really sharp images to add to your parties, to um, plug in on Facebook, things like that. So here's the what's new. There are all different categories as far as monthly focus for whatever the month is. There's going to be product and recipe ones, covers, so these would be ones you could use right on your Facebook page um, and for virtual parties. These are going to be, there's wedding registries, booking and recruiting posts for you that you should be putting in virtual parties. Um, different fundraising things, and then these would be obviously things that I could post and that you post as your team members um, to celebrate success. So I'm just going to go into the whole um, monthly, yeah, let's go into the monthly, monthly focus for March. So this is coming up, um, right now I'm doing the training and we're going to be launching our spring line. So if you're watching the video, this might be past the point, um, because obviously I'm adding this to our unit plan. But this is what something that you could look into for all your access to different things. So these are some new images that we have coming out that you could use. So when you take your mouse and you mouse over any image, okay, you'll see an eyeball. The eyeball, if you click on the eyeball, what that's gonna do is just give you a look that you could look at this image to see it in a larger view. And then if you click on, if you mouse over it again, and then you click on the download button, the download button is going to allow you to save this onto your laptop. If you were to do this on an access on your phone, you would basically be able to do the same thing and then pick where it is that you would like to save this. So in this case, I'm gonna click on Save As on my computer. And then when I save this, I'm gonna just save it onto my desktop to make it easy. What I would suggest to you, um, and which is what really what I do, but I don't wanna confuse my files right now, is I would make a file called March 2019 products or um, virtual party posts for March. Then that way it keeps yourself organized. So I'm just gonna create a desktop folder with this right now. And I am going to call this March virtual parties. 
So that way, this is where I can store any new pictures that I'm going to be using for my virtual parties for March. It real simple, real quick, mouse over, click on it, and then again, you're gonna hit the Save As tab and save it to that file. The reason you're going to save all the images you plan to use is because then you're able to add these images to a third-party posting site. Since share, post my party, Facebook scheduler. But in order to create a, those outlines, you want to add these pictures. Basically, well, you want to download them so that way you could then, I know this is going to sound crazy if you're not familiar with the language, you're going to download these pictures to your phones, your device, or your laptop. When you use a third party site, meaning I'm a busy mom, I work full time, I don't have time to sit on the computer all, all day long doing virtual parties, I use a, a website called Cinchair and it does all my posting for me. It doesn't just go on and I go, okay, I'm Vanessa Boyle, post pamper chap. I need to develop the outline and what to post. These images, the videos, I put all of this together and then I design an outline and then I put, I take these pictures, plug them in the, to the Cinchair app and then it will upload them and then it connects to my Facebook party. Little confusing, but you basically you wanna go in save a ton of pictures and then what happens is, is once you save your pictures then you um, have a whole file then for that month so it's really easy if you organize yourself the other thing you're going to want to do is where it says videos okay you, you're going to want to put videos to make a virtual party successful you want to have a good mix of product pictures recipes video clips going live or you recording your own videos on how to use products when it's you, it's way more personal, but I still do pull some of these in, obviously, from the company um, because I don't have time every single day to make videos. Um, and then the other thing is, is you want to break up your party and you want to have a lot of engaging posts. You could do games. You could do just engaging things to get people to post GIFs or memes, get people to post their bitmojis, have people comment, anything that you do to get people, so that it gets people interacting and participating. All right, so here we are in video. So it's kind of the same concept as pictures. There is a download feature. So again, I could take a whole video, click on the word download. When I go to download this, I'm going to see the same thing that popped up in my pictures. Save as. And I would still save my videos in the exact same spot because this is going to be my March folder. Okay? So then that way, when I do this, I have everything right at my fingertips. I'm not looking for anything specifically. It's all ready. So I plug that in, that video is going to download. Now, you're going to notice if I did, I'm going to mouse over the, the video image again, and there's a three little prong tab here. Now, if you do this, one thing I would recommend is creating a YouTube account. See, if I download these videos, then I got to upload them. It takes a little while. So what I suggest doing to make this way faster is you're gonna hit this three little tab. And then what I love is if you have a YouTube account, you click on this YouTube image, which is the red box. If you mouse over, it says YouTube. Another image box, or I mean, I, sorry, it will connect to your email if you already have a YouTube account. So it's gonna connect you right, right over to it and allow us that basically, instead of me downloading, uploading, and doing a bunch of different stuff, all I'm gonna do with these videos is I'm gonna type in, so for instance, this is the new stoneware platter, chip and dip platter, I guess it is. I label it, but when I do this, I'm in that YouTube. Now I could add a description, I'm just not going to do, oh no, I just accidentally clicked off, my apologies. Let me do that again, that was my fault, I clicked it. Um, so now I'm in the YouTube, I hit that red. I could put stoneware, chip, and dip platter and then all i do is hit post i make it public there and guess what this will go automatically onto my youtube account why do i want this because then it's going to be out there for everybody to see on youtube under my name and then when i go to actually use this later on i now have a link not having to download this because when you download a video it's a humongous file the easier way is, is to making sure every video you have has a link. How do you get the link? You upload this to YouTube. How do you upload? Let's do it one more time. 
So I'm going to take this. I'm going to just find one like, oh, this Mexican layer dip. This looks good. Click on my little three picture there. I'm going to make sure I'm clicked on YouTube, which is the red icon. My description will be seven layer dip. I make sure it's public and I click on post. And what that will do is it's going to send it over to my YouTube account. Okay. The next, one of the next videos coming up that you could also watch in this unit is going to be a video on YouTube and a video on SynShare and how you go about taking your videos and images from either your computer or your device and uploading them onto your third party post to create your outline. Um, so continue watching the videos to learn more information. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. And we are going to close.